Brevis. I remember your name. Welcome to Brevis Roadside Shop. Judging from his accent and fine clothes, this trader isn't from around here. Uh, I'm surprised to see a trader in such a remote place. I usually buy hides from the local hunters, but sometimes they come up with some rather intriguing trophies. No wonder, though, considering the number of be different beasts living in these woods. What's causing all the fuss around here? You mean the, those fish jumping ashore? These fools believe it's thanks to their patron, the Silver Dragon. He supposedly decided to provide the villagers with a feast and sent them this gift, idiots. I don't know what the real reason those... F I don't know the real reason those fish are jumping, but if it were me, I wouldn't get too close to those fish or that lake. Who's in charge of this village? Ivar, he's a resourceful one, to be sure. May the whole area believe he's some chosen one. The spokesman for the Silver Dragon. The idiots around here listen to everything he says and do whatever he asks. It's strange, though. After this Ivar fellow came to the village with his sack of silver scales and his ridiculous stories about the Silver Dragon, things in the area started to change. There was this wolf pack, used to cut through the local cattle like a housewife cuts through vo local vegetables. I mean, through vegetables. After Ivar got here, the wolves won't even come close to the local cows. Same with the monsters in the woods. They don't take a step toward the village or its people. It's all pretty strange if you ask me. Very strange indeed. Yeah, these wares don't look like hunting trophies. They look, remind me more of some robber's loot. The trader's face goes blank. I'm sure I have no idea what you mean, your grace. This is all pretty standard trade around these parts. You know, totally unrelated. I just realized I haven't had an opportunity before to donate... To, to offer a donation to help support our barony. Uh-huh. Why don't you start with a, where you acquired these goods of yours? The trader glances at you suspiciously. All right, all right, there's a cave to the north. Some less than law-abiding fellows have taken up residence there. If we're being uncharitable, you could call them bandits. I sell things they've collected, but I've never robbed anyone myself. You have my word of honor on that. Now you're trying to bribe me? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yes, of course. The trader's voice rings with enthusiasm. All right, how about your... Wares. What can you give me that is of use? Alright, I already talked to you. Uh, I could go up there. I'm pretty sure that's where the fucking area of death is, though. Cool, a boar. What are you doing? God damn it. What are you doing, Thorkin? Oh, wow. I fucked that up pretty hard. Octavia, you, you'd you best pull out some of those exploding arrows real quick. My god! Reg is dealing some serious damage. And you missed. There we fucking go. That should be enough. Greater Tatzel Worm. Um. Adventures away. I can't cast it like that. Something bothering you? I tired of waiting. We should move. I yearn for entertainment. Uh huh. And there we go. Mm. 
Bane, quick. Bane! Bane! And almost none of them got affected. That's one greater tussle worm down. Come on, you can do this. Amiri. Yes, okay, that's one. <sighs> Shit. Minus three strength. Please work. Please. Shit. Okay, there's gotta be... I assume, yeah, I still have Shield of Faith. Wait, do I still have Mage Armor? Yeah, I do. Drink that fucking potion. Alright, you should be able to avoid things like your Neo from the Matrix. Where the fuck are you going? Oh god, no! Well, they caught on. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Survive! Survive, Thorkin. It's what you do. You're a dwarf. You live through everything, and you didn't. Whatever. Oh, shit. It's been an hour and a half. Uh, hmm, should I end it? Yeah, fuck it. I'll just go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback. Like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Inchitir! Signing off.